Welcome to Fine Cuisine and Etiquette with your host, Oliver Gerald the Eater, your guide to the finer things in life. But before I get properly started, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more of me and more of that peasant from the colonies. Hey, Easter brings back a lot of memories for dear old Oliver. Wearing my finest linens and taking part in a festive procession down Main Street with my mother and father, passing the haberdashery, the bakery which served my favorite cheese souffle, and the toy maker en route to the Birmingham Cathedral. Afterwards, we decorate eggs to commemorate the rebirth and spring renewal, and procure chocolate eggs for my favorite activity. We'd find the nearest poor house and the largest group of downtrodden within. We'd then toss the chocolate eggs amongst them and watch them fight it out in gladiatorial style combat like the titans of ancient Rome, but with poor people. And to celebrate that solemn day, I'll be applying my boundless intellect and expansive education to this glob of gelatin in the shape of a popular character from an intergalactic saga enjoyed by 40-year-old man-children who need a credit card to get within 500 feet of a woman! What? Surely this is worth the attention of someone of such high letters and breeding as myself! But I will admit this baby Yoda, as the man-children call him, is a miniature of delight with his oversized hearing orifices an amphibian companion that I can only assume is what the females of his species look like. Baby Yoda's getting lucky tonight. Sadly, this green lizard or toad is more aesthetically pleasing than its flavor. Those charlatans from Disney, who I otherwise admire for their ruthless business sense, claim this edible baby Yoda tastes like fruit punch, the nectar of the peasant class. But it smells like bubbled gum and tastes like the sort of jelly I'd only feed to my servants. Possibly my Yorkshire Terrier. But it's still visually pleasing, so I rate it three and a half silver spoons out of five. And if you have any man children on your gift list, you could do a lot worse. And while I'm on the topic of Star Wars fans, it seemed appropriate to discuss nerds of the Spring Equinox variety. I don't know how it relates to the resurrection of our bearded messiah, other than the package, but what's that American expression about books and covers? Ah, yes. Why give money to the poor when you can just tell them to get a job? It just rolls off the tongue. And speaking of the tongue, this tastes sweeter than the honey pot of our dear Duchess of Queensberry. But since no one bearing the title of this candy has ever seen a honey pot that they didn't pay for, this seems like a contradiction. Despite it having as much to do with Easter as trigonometry, this is a tasty treat, and I rate it four silver spoons out of five. Please remember to show your appreciation for my efforts with a like. And I shall return to educate the great unwashed masses and all those of good letters and breeding on the finer things in life and delightful cuisine.